is Intel flaming atom. I mean, whether it's a, a netbook or a HTPC, it's more than likely going to be Intel Atom, possibly with an ATI graphics card or integrated graphics. You never hear anything about NVIDIA anymore. It's because they keep delaying everything. I mean, it's not exactly a bad thing that ATI are taking over the world, but there's so many NVIDIA fanboys and girls who have to sort of curl up at night in the corner, crying themselves to sleep, just praying, hoping that NVIDIA might release another product. Just one. Possibly Fermi. Stop delaying it! Fermi, for instance, I mean, it's been on the books for how long now? How long has it been? It's, it's been too long. I mean, it seems that they've taken a backseat to ATI. And with the second generation Atom platform being number one, the Ion platform has been kicked to the curb. That's where Pine Trail comes in. Pairing that with the Ion platform, and it can only mean good things. I mean, Taiwanese motherboard manufacturer ASRock have launched the world's first board to have the Ion chipset and DDR3 memory support. Personally, I mean, I think it's the right time to launch. With DDR3 memory prices, they've stopped fluctuating so much and they have seemed to settle, I mean, at least in the UK. I'm not sure what it's like in other countries, I, I don't live there. Lo and behold, the ASRock A330 Ion. Oh, just the name, it's, it's fantastic, it's brilliant. Simple, but effective. It must have taken them months, no, years to think of that name. A330 Ion. I think we just need to take a moment of, of silence to, to think about it. Wow. I mean, how did they come to it? A330. 330? That's the chip. A330 Ion. Oh, that's the chipset. It works. It features Intel's first generation Atom processors, which is a bit disappointing now that the second generation processors are number one. They're still using old technology. But it does include the Atom 330 dual-core 1.6 GHz processor and two dual-channel DDR3 slots supporting up to 4 GB of DDR3 running at 1066 MHz. It also has a PCI Express 16x slot, which ASRock have claimed that by adding an NVIDIA, not ATI, has to be NVIDIA, by adding an NVIDIA GeForce 9 series graphics card, which is currently their latest series graphics card, due to Fermi being delayed again, that you'll have the perfect eye on platform. Other all singing all dancing features include HD 7.1 channel audio, optical SP diff, gigabit LAN, an array of display connectors, the usual, VGA, DVI, HDMI, and it also has two eSATA ports and four standard serial ATA ports. ASRock made it clear that they would test that performance to prove to us, the consumer, the buyer, the end user, that this board with its DDR3 slots is well worth the money in comparison to an ION setup using DDR2 800MHz memory. So they're going to get a slower, cheaper board, compare it to a faster, more expensive board. That's pretty much a no-brainer. I'm, I'm guessing, just guessing, that the DDR3 board's going to come out on top. Yep, looking at the performance test that ASRock have conducted, it seems a decent increase in performance was gained using DDR3. So, with most product releases, though, you will find that no pricing and no availability is listed at the time of the actual release. But I'm sure in months to come when NVIDIA actually start releasing products again, getting their name out there, and hopefully having a product launch, and, and just being, like, you know, actually doing some work, that we might hear more information on this as well as the, the whole ION platform. By this time, I'm sure ATI will be finishing off their plans and their plot for world domination and ridding the world of NVIDIA products once and for all. 